What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're having back doing some online battles with this Dragalge team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys rock. You guys have been tearing up the views and the likes and the subscriptions and everything on this channel. So thank you guys so much for the support. This team right here was sent to me by Kyle. Kyle sent it over on my Instagram page. So Kyle, thank you so much for this team. It looks awesome. I cannot wait to hop into it. Rocking out on this team, we got Starmie. Starmie is one of those Pokemon that I really want to show off, but this team is based around Dragalge right here. He's going to be our heart and soul, but Starmie right here with that Power Orb, Analytic has his ability, Scald, Psychic, Meteor Beam, which is a brand new move, and Trick Room. I cannot wait to show that off. And what Power Herb allows us to do is like, if it's a two turn move like Meteor Beam, but I'll use Solar Beam as an example. So say we want to use Solar Beam, it will only take one turn instead of two turns. So the same thing with Meteor Beam. It will only take one turn and use up our Power Herb. In our second spot, we got Scizor right here. Scizor's been an absolute beast ever since the Isle of Armor has came out. It has Bullet Punch, Dual Wing Beat, X Scissor, and Protect. This has been his normal moveset with the Expert Bell and Technician ability. It rocks out and is just so strong. Behind my face cam, we got our boy Politoed. He can set the rain with that damp rock to actually make the rain last longer. With Skull, Helping Hand, Screech to lower defense, and Hypnosis as well. Bottom spot, we got Urshfruit. This thing's an absolute beast. You guys already know his uh, little signature move, Certain Strikes, hits three times for crits, all water stab moves. Close combat for big stab damage, Aqua Jet for stab first turn priority, and Ice Punch for nice little coverage moves. He has that choice band, so we can choice band and get a little bit more damage up, and his ability allows us to hit through protects, which is amazing. Adding on to this team, we got Blastoids with that White Herb. Normal moveset for him too. Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Shell Smash, and Flash Cannon. I actually do not know if this is a G-Max Blastoids, but we already showed off a G-Max Blastoids, so maybe we won't really use it too, too much. And then in the final spot, we got Dragalge right here. One of my new favorite Pokemon in the Isle of Armor. I always wanted to show him off, and I finally got my hands on a team. He is Poison and Dragon typing. Like, that is amazing. He has Adaptability as his ability but what that allows us to do is stab moves instead of 1.5 times boost they are now two times damage boost which is amazing and there goes my screen but we chilling here it's all good it's all good but yeah we get the two times damage boost from stab moves so sludge bomb and dragon pulse can do big damage we also have that soul fest so comes with special attack moves thunder for coverage and it hits 100 percent in the rain and then protect which i love on this guys you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen one last shout out to my boy kyle for making this dude i cannot wait i cannot wait to show off your i think he's going to be one of my favorite pokemon in the isle of armor but guys let's hop into those casual battles and try to get some wins with this team Battle number one coming at you guys, and look at this dude's team. This is what I love to see on the casual ladder. Just a bunch of new Pokemon. He has Luxray, Talonflame, Gold Duck, Zoroak, and Skarmory alongside with that Dust Cops set Trick Room. Is that going to be a thing? I want to check my team's speed real quick. I definitely want to check my team's speed. Let's go 183. That's a fast Starmie. That's a fast Starmie. Jeez, dude. This thing's cooking. And the speed's rather slow for this team. The Galaxy's pretty slow. Um... I could totally uh, set a trick room with Starmie. But how do I want to roll out turn one? Turn one, I mean, hmm. If he wants to set trick room, that's fine by me. That would be totally fine by me. He's going to try to either set a tailwind or a trick room. So I'm going to go Starmie here. If he goes uh, talent flame, I'll set the trick room. If not, I'll just uh, get after it. Mm. I could go Urshifu. I could bring Urshifu. I It's no weather, so I don't really want to bring Politoed. I kind of want to bring Jigalji in the front Savat. Like, that wouldn't be bad at all. Or Urshifu. Now nah, let's not go Urshifu. Let's go Dragalge, show him off. Blastoids and uh, Urshifu. Or Blastoids and Scissor. Mm. I'm gonna go Scissor. I'm gonna go Scissor in the back end. Let's get it. Let's get rolling here. Let's go. Let's go. Battle number one. I cannot wait to show off Dragalge. This thing's an absolute beast with adaptability. Ability is just so good. And the Starmie I can't wait to show off as well. Because it has a Meteor Beam which gives it a special attack boost. And then it just rocks out. Guys, you want to send me teams? Head to the link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube over on my Instagram page. That's the best way. DM me over there. If you got new Pokemon or new teams with new Pokemon, I would love to get my hands on them to use them. And if you guys want to catch more content from me, I stream four plus days every single week on Twitch. Jeans25, link is in the description below. But you go to Luxray Town Flame. I kind of just want to set a trick room. Hmm. I kind of just want to set a trick room, but I feel like this thing might just dump on me. He might actually protect and go into guts. I'm actually just going to sludge bomb over on this side. So if he goes Tailwind, I'll be cool with it. Yeah, I'm going to sludge bomb over here. Get that stab damage rolling. Actually get a poison. I think he might protect because he's not Intimidate. He's not Intimidate, so I can see a big old Protect coming out from him. And I think he's deciding between going for a Wild Charge or Protecting. 
Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I want to get this trick him off big time. Big old time. And then I'll Dynamax my, uh, my Dragalgy. This thing's awesome, yo. He's such a cool Pokemon design. It is so cool. Same thing with Starmie. I just think they're so cool. Both of them. Just look at their designs. Look at Starmie with a big gem in it. It's like a triple. It's like a double seahorse. And there we go. Not seahorse. Uh, starfish. But there it is. Like I said, I read the Protect easily. And the Tailwind comes out. We make the perfect play. The perfect play for this turn. We get the Trick Room. We get the uh, Sludge Bomb off. And uh, we can actually do some work. Look at that. See you later. This thing's poison. We get the poison on this thing as well. Is this thing sashed? It wasn't even sashed. We just brought it down that low. And we get the beautiful Trick Room going off here. Awesome. So this thing goes down to poison. We get a little lucky on there. But yeah, we made that beautiful play right there. Beautiful. We the Protect. We the Tailwind. And now we got Trick Room up. And we should be able to take Speed Advantage. This thing gets Guts triggered. Uh, I think I'm just going to take him out with a Max Worm win. Or do I go for an ooze to get that special... Mm, I could get that special attack boost for both of us. For both of us in battle number one. Come on, Jeans. This dude's shaking in his boots. Because he, he has the tailwind up, which is giving him double speed. But the trick room just helping us out. So Starmie actually might be able to get a turn off here. Even though I showed it off. He's like 180-something speed. Which is ridiculous. Just things a unit. But who's going to go into a slower mon? He's going to go into Golduck. Which I'm cool with. I'm totally cool with. I'm definitely Dynamaxing Dracology, and I'm going into a Meteor Beam. And who should I Meteor Beam up against? I think Luxray. I might Dynamax Luxray. I'm going to Meteor Beam up into that. And what's us go. I was going to go first, so I'm going to ooze over into the Gold Duck to get the special attack boost for my uh, for my Starmie. So we'll get plus two on that. Oh my god. Because we'll get one from the Meteor Beam and then one from the ooze. So yes, yeah, Starmie's going to be able to hit like a truck. And then Adaptability is going to be able to hit like a truck as well. Oh my lord, yo. That's what it takes. That is what it takes. Like, a good first move can control the whole match. Like, that just took over. That just took over. We took out the Talent Flame. We got up a Trick Room. Wasted turns out here. And now he's in a tough position here as we have such control. We have such control now. Like, what do you want? What do you want, dude? We outplayed you. We outplayed you. I played you, fool. Get out of my face. So, what's going to happen here? Dragalge is rather slow. 63, I think its speed was, which is awesome for Trick Room. Which is awesome. Let's get rolling. Just because he doesn't really have too, too many Trick Room Pokemon. Dragalge coming out here, showing the big dog off. Oh my lord, I'm in love with this thing. Adaptability goes double damage for stab moves. So, whew, whew, Max Ooze double damage and with the, uh, with the, what's it called? Special attack boost. Ready? Yeet! Big old damage for a Max Ooze. Max Ooze usually doesn't really hit too, too hard, but that hit so hard. And we get the special attack boost, which is more important. And then Starmie goes for that Meteor Beam. Uh, bye bye Luxray. Bye Luxray. Guys, check this out. Look at this. Get rolling here. We get the Space Power. Special Attack raises up. Power Herb comes out so we don't have to charge a turn. And we can say bye bye to the Luxray. Ready? Look at this move. This is insane. Yay! Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> absolutely dump on it. Get out my face, little boy. Get out my face, yo. This match is over with. Icy Wind comes out. He's going to slow us down a little bit, which is totally fine. Go ahead, slow us down. We are in Trick Room, dude. We are in Trick Room. Slow us down. Do it. I don't care. <laughs> Bro, this is a power combo right here. Starmie Dragology? They rocking out. Oh, Skarmie, what you want, fool? What you want? Um, I'm just gonna go for a psychic, get that stab damage, take out the gold duck, and then uh and this with a uh max worm one. Actually, ooh, max worm one doesn't do too much. Dude, the steel types just eat me up all day. Oh, this is super effective. This is super effective because he's part flying. The steel types been eaten. And he just cancels battle, yo. Quickest first battle in a long time. GG, 1-0 with this team. Let's hop into battle number two and try to show it off some more. Going up against a swift swim Kingdra team right here. We did everything I wanted to do in that last battle. We absolutely dominated and did everything so perfectly. Starmie and Dragalge dominated. It was amazing. That was such a good battle for us. But this guy also has a Blitzy. And if you guys seen pictures or videos, this thing can get 1,400 HP when it Dynamaxes. If it's like fully invested in HP. But we got 30 seconds to choose. I'm definitely bringing my uh, Blastoids. I'm going to go Starmie turn one. Again, Starmie Scissor maybe? Starmie Scissor? I think that's not a bad choice. Let's go Starmie, Scissor, Dragalge, and then Blastoise. Was it the same team I had last time? I think it was. I think it was the same team I had last time. But, oh, maybe I should have brought, what's it called? Maybe I should have brought Urshifu. In rain? Stab, Surgeon Strikes, Crits? In rain damage? That could have been huge. What choice, Bam? Oh, 
That could have been dirty. That could have been dirty. But, dude, that last battle, that read right off the battle. I was like, he's protected. I'm a trick room. He's going to tailwind. And then I'll just uh, sludge bomb into it. But he goes Kingdra and Toxtricity, which is totally cool by me. I'm not going to set the rain. He can have it. But Toxtricity is a little scary here. It's just a tad bit. But I think my, uh, what's called, should be able to outspeed. Hmm. I think what's called should be able to outspeed and take out this Toxtricity. I'm going to go for that. And then I'm going to go for a... Uh... The Starmie's fast. Right? Starmie's really fast. Like, surprisingly fast. Ready? Like, 183? Jeez. Surprisingly fast. And if I can get this uh this Toxtricity out of the way, we can be chilling. x Scissor I could go for. I can go for a Stool Wing Beat. I'd rather go for just straight up x Scissor over on the Kingdra. Do some damage on it. Let's see what happens here. He might swap into Rain Mon, which is totally good. Who is this Rain Mon? Pelper? We can one tap Pelper all day. He swaps into Drizzle Pelper. But I I'm thinking he's going to stay with the Toxtricity and not realize how fast Starmie actually is. Which I'm totally cool with it. Yep, he does not realize it. He does not realize it. And we should be able to take out the Toxtricity in one hit unless it has uh, Focus Ash. Here we go. Special Attack Raisin. Let's get it. Oh my lord. Starmie's so good. So good. Here comes the Meteor Beam. And it's not even Rock Stab damage. I didn't even do too much. Jeez, this thing eat it up all day. I thought we were going to just dump on it. And of course, this thing lands a Hurricane. No problem. He's going to confuse us. He gets a crit. What you mean? Bro, what is this game? I'm surprised that Toxtricity ate, up, ate it up that good. And he's going to come in with an Overdrive. Bro, what you mean? What you mean? What do you mean? Whack. Whack. I thought we were doing way more damage with that, uh... With that move. We get a nice X-Scissor off. And we're going to bring that thing down to one. We get a crit. There we go. We trade crits there. Which I'm totally cool with. And I'm going to bring out your Galgi here. And just Dynamax him. I'm going to get rolling with your Galgi. Man, I was hyping up that Meteor Beam for that Toxtricity. <laughs> it did only did like half damage. <laughs> I actually ate that up so well. Um, I'm going to Dynamax here. And I'm going to go. I could ooze. It's not very effective. But I might as well just uh, Worm Win. Go after Toxtricity. And then just Bullet Punch over onto uh, Kingdra. And take that thing out. Well, let's get it, baby. What you want? What do you want, fool? Not doing anything to us. Your Galgi coming in here, popping off. And here we go. I hope he uh, swaps that thing and tries to take speed advantage and not realize that I have bull punch. But he should know. He should know if Scissor learns bull punch. That's one of his main things. Like, every Scissor, there's not one Scissor that doesn't use bull punch. Because bull punch is so good, especially with Technician as his ability. But another game, Dynamax and Galgi. I'm in love with this thing. It's so good. Adaptability is going to come out here. Full punch. Says bye-bye to Kingdra. I'm surprised he didn't protect. But some Kingdras haven't been run protect. But I feel like Kingdra needs protect. Especially in doubles. It can help it out so much and waste turns. And this is going to go for an overdrive. Scissor should be able to eat. And Dragalgy eats that up. No problem. I love Dragalgy's typing. His typing is phenomenal. Dragon and poison. Come on, man. Come on. What you want? We take out Toxtricity. We're chilling here. And we have our Soul Fest. That's why it only did a little bit of damage for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, if you guys do not know, Dragalgy and Skrelp, it's uh, first evolution. Well, it's first stage. They are uh, shield exclusive and Clawitzer and it's first stage. I forget what his first stage is. They are sword exclusive. I totally love the shield exclusive play more, but still. But still. He's going to go Grassy Surge and Rain at the same time. At the same time, nobody's really getting speed advantage, but he might have. Uh, he could potentially Grassy Glide and do some work from there. I'm actually just going to go into a Max Ooze, which should be able to one tap that Rillaboom. Really she actually, he might Dynamax. It could be G-Max. He might set up a Tailwind. But let's see what happens. I could take away the Terrain. But I'm going to go for a, uh, I guess a Bullet Punch over on the Pelipper and take off the Sash. Because he's got to outspeed me, right? Oh, I could protect and waste a turn. Nah, nah, nah. We're just going to go for a Bullet Punch. Take off that thing Sash. It's 100% got to be Sash. 100% though. I don't think Grass is a, uh, I think it's not very effective against Dragalgy. I believe so. But can we see a G-Max Rillaboom? That would be awesome. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen a G-Max Cinderace. I've seen a G-Max Blastoise. Haven't seen G-Max Venusaur or G-Max Inteleon. Full punch comes out here. He does not Dynamax. Okay, I'm cool with it. I guess he may maybe want to go for a Grassy guy. Let's see what he does. Oh, no. He goes straight for a Hurricane and trying to get that Ducks. Trying to get the Ducks. Bro, what you mean? I would never get confused when this happens. Knockoff comes out here. He's going to knock off my Soul Fest, which is huge play. Um, I definitely, like, got to hit this move right now. Thank you. Thank you, Dragalgy. I was going to say, we're really not going to be able to hit that move. And Max Hoos comes out. Takes out the Rollboom, and that's going to be game. I think we want to Dynamax next turn. 
I think that was like his uh, last resort. He went to Dynamax next turn and get that Assault Fest off of me. We get the special attack boost and no more stash. I can just go into it Max Lightning and finish up this second battle 2-0 with this Dragology team. Bruh, I'm rocking out. I've been rocking out lately. 3-0 in that last video. If you guys haven't checked that one out. The Executor Sun team, amazing, amazing. And now we're 2-0, so we're on a five-game winning streak on recording. Well, we, we better win this one. <laughs> I'm almost 100% we win this one. And I'm just going for dual wing beat. I think he just uh, quits. I think he cancels battle. Just not cancel battle. He goes for another hurricane. Doing some more damage onto me. Here comes the dual wing beat. Yeet. Not bad damage, baby. Another one. Yeet. Get out of my face. That was a crit, wasn't it? No, it was not. That one just got a high roll. Come on. Don't hurt yourself. Yes, sir. We end it with a max lightning to couch you, bro. What you want? What do you want, dude? We running things. We running things 2-0. Oh. Let's hop into our third and final battle and see if we can go back-to-back -back videos going undefeated. Let's get it, guys. GG to this guy. Dude. I'm still kind of mad that uh that Starmie's Meteor Beam didn't kill because I was hyping that one up, but it was funny in the long run. Bruh, are you serious? Why is this dude using, like, one of the top-ranked teams in casual Latin? Like, get out my face. Casual's here for Isle of Armor Pokemon only. You are using not Isle of Armor Pokemon. Just get out of here. Get out of here. Get them going. That's whack. That is whack. But ladies and gentlemen, we are here looking to go 3 0. Perfect record. If we could do it against this team, that would be awesome because this team is one of like, the top staple teams in ranked. So let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. I think Starmie is just another great lead. Like, if he wants to set a drought, go ahead. I'm going to bring actually Politoed. I'm going to definitely bring Politoed in case he wants to uh, change the weather up on me. So I'm going to bring him in the back end. Um, hmm. I don't want to go Starmie turn one. I could rock out with a Trick Room. It really depends who he leads. So I'm going to bring Starmie. Because I can Trick Room turn one if I really, 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 really want to. Uh, I don't want to go Urshifu. I have Aqua Jet. I have all that good stuff. I'm going to bring... Uh, do I really want Choice Ban? First turn. I'm going to go Dragalge, Politoed, and Urshifu. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with that. I like that. I like that a lot. If I get Urshfu in a Choice Band Surge and Strikes with, with what's it called? With the rain? Like, bruh. Three crits, three stabs, three all in the rain. That is going to be huge boost. And with the Choice Band. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. And he hits through Protect. So if they want to Protect, I like it. Right through it. Go right through it, baby. But come on. Can Jeans do it for the online gaming community, baby? You guys know that saying. Thank you for hanging out on my Twitch page. I say it all the time when I'm live. Like, we do it for the online gaming community. But he goes, uh, Torkoal into Bibbidi Bobbidi right here, into Venusaur. Um, I'm totally cool with it. He's gonna drought this up. I am going to, uh, set the rain. I'm gonna take out, uh, do I take out? That's like, I got all this. I could go here, because I know I will 100% outspeed. So I'm gonna go with the Psychic Stab here. And I'm going to switch the weather out. Go, Polito, get that damp rock rolling, baby. Get that damp rock. Set that rain. Get out of here. Galgy, get back. This is why I put Politoed in the back end. We're not playing with none of this weather stuff. We're not playing with none of this weather stuff. Is he going to Dynamax? This is a real question. This is a real question. Are you Dynamaxing? Oh, he Dynamax. Show me G-Max Venusaur. Show me G-Max Venusaur. Mm -mm -mm. He's going to go into a Max Overgrowth. And this is G-Max Venusaur. Oh, wait, look at this thing. It has like an umbrella over its head. <laughs> Looks like he just growed his hair out during quarantine like me. <laughs> but second comes out. Yeet. Not bad damage. I'm hoping I can survive another turn and get a Meteor Beam off. And of course, this thing's weakness policy. Bro. Oh, we in some trouble. We in some trouble, trouble. G-Max Fine Lash. We in some trouble, trouble. Look at this move. <laughs> bruh. Bruh. Are you kidding me? Yo, that thing just whipped on us. <laughs> That's a little scary. Yawn comes out. Oof. Oof. Bruh. Polito taking that Vine Whip damage. Jeez, that thing looks sick, though. That thing looks sick. Do I go to Galgi or do I get him up in here? I mean... He's gonna be super effective. He's gonna start dumping on me. What's this thing's speed though? First food, what's your speed? 163? I think that outspeeds him. Hmm. I'm just gonna go with Dragalgy. I'm gonna go with Dragalgy because we have that Soul Fest. That'd be a lot better for us. I'm going to Scald. Scald might be able to take out that Torkoal. 
And then I gotta go into a match Uzo on that thing. Let's get rolling. Let's get it. Do I ooze it or do I worm win it? I kinda wanna ooze it. I'm gonna ooze it. Get a special attack boost. And then just go straight for a lovely little scald over on this Torkoal. I think the Scald will, will definitely be able to take it out with the stab. Rain. Like, come on, super effective. What you want, fool? But yo, that was a sick move. That vine lash it came down. It was double vines like whoa, boom. Just explosions everywhere. Being all crazy. He's gonna withdraw Torkoal. Try to get that sun back again. And he's gonna go into somebody that can do big damage too. Ah no, Dust Cop's gonna come in here. He's gonna frisk me up and realize I have a salt vest in my damp rock. My nice little dampy rock. But what's called should go first, and he's probably gonna take out my Polytoad. Just a little scary. Just just a little bit scary. I think this Venusaur might actually run us and take away our perfect record. Leave me alone. Dang dude, if you didn't Dynamax, we would have we would have been chilling. We would have been chilling. Alright, let's see, let's see how this rolls out here. Venusaur should go first with the max quake going into he's going into he's, he's boosting special uh, defense. He's gonna go into Dragalge and do some big old damage to it. That is some big old damage. It's a crit, of course. Like, what you mean? Game trash, though. <laughs> Special defense boost. That was huge for him. Special defense boost was huge. And Skull comes out doing poo-poo damage. We get the burn, though. Yay. <laughs> this match isn't looking too good for us. Ooze comes out. I do not have a protect, so he's probably going to take me out next turn. Ooze does a little bit of damage with the adaptability. This thing's just an absolute beast. Venusaur's just an absolute beast. But this dude really not using any of the new Isle of Armor Pokemon besides G-Max Venusaur. But still, that's just like a typical team right there. And you guys know it. You guys already know that's just a typical team. And it's so annoying that he's using this in the online, or not in the online, in casual. And Polytech goes to sleep, and oh, it's not looking good for your boy. It's not looking good. Actually, I can guard. I didn't know I had guard. Oh, wait. Oh, we, yeah. Why Why do we have Protect with Assault Vest? What normally is that move? Is it Protect? I don't even know. <laughs> it might be protect. I actually wanna check out his moveset. Why would we have a protect with a soul vest? Yeah. It's kinda weird. Didn't even really realize that. But still, let's get rolling. Uh, I guess we'll worm one. If we can hit it, we can hit it. We'll do we'll take him out. And I guess we'll go for a scald. <laughs> I guess, but I think Venusaur just up. Next quakes again into Dragology. And then Dust Cops goes into like something else. Let's see what happens here. Show me that he misses. He's gonna ally switch. What a smart cookie, dude. What a smart cookie. This guy's just outplaying me now. He's just teasing me. Here comes the Quake. He didn't even need it, though. He could just took me out. Let's see he's going for Polytoad. Let's see who goes in. Now he goes for Dragalge. And he's gonna take him out. Ooh, and just absolutely run me. That is gonna be the game. Unless Urshfu can somehow clutch this one up like an absolute beast. But we will see. We will see. Dynamax is all over. And I do believe in Urshfu. He has a decent speed. You know what I'm saying? If I can get rid of all this stuff, like Surge and Strike's gonna be able to do some big damage. Some big old damage. And here comes the grass lash now. Just doing. Mm. Ah, leave me alone. But the thing is, I need Urshfu to outspeed this G Max Venusaur and be able to take him out in one shot. I mean, I do have Ice Punch, but do I really want to uh, twist Band into that? Oh, this thing still has a Dynamax turn? No way. No way this thing has a Dynamax turn. It should be done, right? Yeah, okay, it's done. But I could twist into an Ice Punch. Who else did he have? Check his Pokemon. Check his Pokemon. The Torkoal. I gotta go for a water move. I gotta go for Surgeon Strikes and take this thing out. Gotta be a fact. If I wake up, I'm a helping hand this thing. No way he ally switches again. He's gonna withdraw. Okay, he's gonna withdraw that, which is awesome. No, it's not awesome. He's gonna get what's called out here. Torkoal. No! <laughs> yeah, he just decided this guy has it in the bag. I totally forgot about back end Torkoal. Oh, I thought fast asleep anyway. Certain Strike is, isn't even going to come close to taking out now. Sludge Bomb's going to come through. And it's going to do some nice damage on us. And say, see you later, Urshifu. Eey! Rough match for us, yo. But that was cool to actually, uh, we got to see uh, G-Max Venusaur, though. So I'll take that as like a, a half and half, a win-loss. I'll take that. We lost the battle. I'll, I'll run from this one. We lost the battle, but we got to show off G-Max Venusaur alongside. So that's pretty cool. I still got to get a team with that on to actually show it off myself but yo two and one with this team awesome I, i'm glad i got to show off the starmie and the dragology like bro let's get it let's go like that first match was awesome second match we did well in this match we just got dumped on but still it's all good
Dragalge is one of my new favorite Isle of Armor Pokemon. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Kyle, for giving me this team so I could show it off. I also love the Starmie. Like, I feel like Starmie is going to be so big in rank. It is so good. It gets really good speed, and its moves are amazing, especially with its typing of Water and Psychic. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.